altitudes perpendicular to the opposite side. I'm about to introduce a new segment that also starts at a vertice. Called A. Anybody want to go ahead and throw that in your mouth there? Median, median, yes. It starts at a vertice, but it's not perpendicular to the opposite side. Instead, it goes to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay? So altitudes are perpendicular. Medians go to the midpoint of the opposite side. So can you make a conclusion about my diagram if AD is, the mid, is a median? If AD is a median, make a conclusion, please, just based on that definition. Starts at a vertice, mid, goes to the midpoint of the opposite side. Matt, let's roll. Darn right. BD is congruent to DC because what do you know about point D, Matt? D is a midpoint if a median is drawn. Yep. So we know BD is congruent to DC. And if you want to write underneath it too, D is a midpoint. That's how we got there. And I always have a saying for students when we do medians. If you want to remember it, great. If not, that's I'm fine with that. Medians go to midpoints. Medians go to midpoints. That's what I like to always say to remind myself. Medians go to midpoints. Can I uh, throw a little challenge question at you? In a triangle, in a single triangle, how many medians exist? How many medians? It's not infinite. Three. Yeah, why? Three sides. Yeah, and three vertices that they have to start from, right? Guess what's going to happen with all three? They're all going to be concurrent. Yep. Yeah. All right. First, before we show that, can we skip? Uh, we'll come back to the construction in a second. Can we go right to uh, question one? I just want to gauge us where we are right here. Before we do a median construction, I want to gauge where we are. So I have CD in every line segment, CD in every diagram. What is it? Okay, you guys have a lot of vocab from this unit. All right, what is CD in every single diagram here based on what I've marked? All right, based on what I've marked, what would you call CD now in this unit? If you get, hey, we shouldn't be writing down in center, ortho center, circum center. Those are all points, everybody. Those are all points. These are line segments, okay? These are line segments. All right. That last one might be a little tough. What's CD in part A? It's diagram A. What's CD there? What do we call that? Maddie, let's roll. A close. How do you know it bisects? Did I put hash marks on AD and DB? No. Okay, so I don't know if bisects, but it is perpendicular. So what do I call the segment? Starts from a vertice perpendicular to the opposite side. Go ahead. Go ahead. Look back if you need to. What do I call that segment? Um, Starts at a vertice. Oh, an altitude. An altitude. There you go. Yep. I don't know it bisects because I don't have hash marks on AD and DB. Oh, good. What about B? What's CD here in B? I got two uh, two inches, two inches there. Median. Kevin? Median. Median. All good. Goes to the midpoint. How about diagram C? 28, 28. Oh, high grade. High. Angle bisector. That's an angle bisector. Any issues? Ooh, what about C? Look what happens. Here's C, D. What is that? The R? Altitude. Yeah, it's an altitude, right? Perpendicular to the opposite side. It's just in an obtuse triangle. In center, circum center, Ortho center, guys, those are all points. All right. All right, let's go back up. Grab your compass. I want to construct a median. Let's see if we can construct a median. 
Uh, this isn't anything new. You know how to do it already. Where do me medians go to? Okay, so I need your help and your compass's help. Can you help me find the midpoint of AB? Because we're drawing it from point C, it says. Draw a median from point C. So if you, look, if you can locate the midpoint of AB, I just got to connect it to C and we're done. You guys have a construction available that finds the midpoint of something, of a line segment? You guys got a construction available that finds the midpoint? Yeah, you do. It's the fish. Open your comp pump, pump, yeah, compass. Open your compass up more than half the length. Open up your compass more than half the length. Draw in decent size half circle arc. Go to the other side. Now, do I, ready? Here's the difference. Ready? Oh, this is how I know we're on top of our game. When I draw my line in, is that a median? No. What is it? When I, if I just lined up my straight edge right now, drew the line in both points of intersection, that's not a median. It would be a what? It would be a perpendicular bisector if you just drew that line in. What am I using this construction for? I'm using it to take my straight edge and make a mark on AB that's going to be my midpoint. That's why I'm using this construction because it'll go through the midpoint of AB. Then I line up my straight edge and draw point C to that point, and there's your median, everyone. There's your median. So perpendicular bisector and median, same construction. All good? Questions? And then, hey, if we drew the other one in from B, what's your prediction? All three medians would? Be a concurrent. They would all intersect. Yep. And that's what we're talking about today. What's that point called? Where all the medians intersect. Questions here? Going? Look, we're all good? All right, go ahead. Oh, boy. Go ahead. Draw a triangle ABC for me. save time, I'm going to assign one side to each group here and find the midpoint of each side for me. Okay, group one, you guys are off the hook. You can do BC. You better get that one right, whether you know the midpoint formula or not. Group two, you guys got AB. Group three right here, you guys have the midpoint of AC for me. Okay? Please find the midpoint of your respected side, and we'll report back in a minute. Should do it using the midpoint formula. We don't have time to construct it. Use the midpoint formula, please. Use the midpoint formula.
Add your x's, divide by 2, add your y's, divide by 2. Oh, group 1, how about that tough midpoint of BC? What do you got? 8, 4. Oh, yeah, that was tough, right? 8, 4. Please make sure you jot it down. I want you to graph it. Grab your straight edge and draw in the median for me. Okay? Grab your graph it. 8, 4, graph it. Grab your straight edge and draw in the median from point A. A to CB. Draw in that median for me, please. Group two, anybody have the midpoint of AB? Three, five. Three, five? I got five, three. Five, three? Five, three. Five, three? Everyone graph 5, 3, and draw the median in from C. With the straight edge, that's important. And group 3, anybody get midpoint of AC over there? 5, 5. five, five. Good, same thing, graph it and draw the median in from B for me. Same thing, straight edge, line it up with point B, draw in the median. So everyone's got all three medians graphed. What do you notice? Prediction come true? Are the medians concurrent? All right, you're ready for your fourth and final special point. Anybody want to try to let that roll off the tongue? Centroid. centroid. Good job. Centroid. That's my point of concurrency. For the medians of a triangle. So now the medians are all concurrent at the centroid. Centroid. What's so special about it, right? What's so special? Remember back going back to our chart? Circumcenter had a little special something something. In center had a little something something. Ortho center, eh. Well, centroid does. You ready? Centroid theorem. Divides each median. into a ratio of two to one, two to one. Divides each median into a ratio of two to one. Let me help you better understand that. That means on one single median, one segment is twice the length of the other. Go back to your graph when you're done writing the writing. Go back to your graph. Everyone remember, hey, this is my centroid, right? That's my centroid. Watch. Look at the median from point A, right? Look at the median from point A. Can you guys quickly count the distance from A to the centroid right now? Count the distance. How long is it from point A to the centroid? How many units? How many? Four units. How long is the other part from the centroid to the opposite side? See how that, see what I'm talking about? A ratio of two to one. One segment is always double the other. And it will, the, the longer segment, the doubled one, will always be from the vertice to the centroid. That's always the bigger one. 
Okay, vertice the centroid is always the bigger one. Okay? So that's the importance of a centroid. Divides the median into two to one. One segment is double the other. Two quick examples and we're out. Anything you want to ask first before we apply it to a triangle? Two quick examples and we're out. Or three maybe, because that's got a part A and a B. All right, M's the centroid. M is the centroid. So now I'm thinking, all right, these are medians, and it breaks each median up in a ratio of two to one. WM is 16. 16, WM has a length of 16. What's the length of WX, which is the median? WX. Well, first of all, I can't find WX unless I know the length of XM. Remember, it breaks it up into a ratio of two to one. The bigger piece is twice the smaller piece. So if this is 16, what about XM? Eight. Yeah, you guys got it. So that means WX will be 24. Issues? YM is 12. Find MO and YO. So that's 12 now. Did I give you the smaller piece or the larger piece? The smaller segment of the median. Good. So how about MO? Let's start there. How long is MO going to be? Double it. 24. Because it's a ratio of 2 to 1. Vertice to centroid is always the double part. And then how about YO? 36. Yep. Anything confusing yet? We're okay? Last question here of the day. Perfect timing. Oh, I love this one. Look, read the directions here, and then I'm going to get fired up. Medians. A, D, B, E, and C, F. They're all medians. Hey, right? That's got, whoa, whoa. They're all medians? What's G then? Yeah, centroid. Not circumcenter, not in center. Medians. That's got to be the centroid. Now I start thinking about two to one. BG, 2X plus 10. GE, 3X minus 1. Incorrect. Incorrect. That 2X plus 10 is the same as 3X minus 1, right? Incorrect. They're not equal. It's two to one. One's double the length of the other. Adjust it. There's two ways you could adjust this for me to make it correct. Adjust this equation to make it correct for me. Because they're not equal. Never. Never. One piece is double the other. Anybody want a little help? What's up, Tim? I can multiply the 3x minus 1 by 2. If I was feeling really nuts, I can multiply 2x, by, 2x plus 10 by... One half instead. Does everyone see why it's getting multiplied by two? Vertice to centroid is equal to double the other piece. Yep. And then you guys are solving for X, plugging it back in, and solving for BE, the full length of the median. X should be three. And then when you plug it in, I believe BE should be 24 when you plug it back in. Two to one, everybody. Two to one. Stop in today if you have any questions. Wow, perfect timing. I don't like to do that often, but. Part of your homework tonight is filling out a nice chart to help you review. Um, is there a reason why you're not putting a line above the letters? Uh, usually when I talk about the length of it, I leave it off. Uh, am I going to mark you off, Niara? No, I'm not. You want to put the line segment symbol on? Go right ahead. Okay? Thanks. See you guys. That was intense. Thank you.